Today we're going to show you how to make this from a trash can full of sand. Yes, I said a trash can. Very simple, very effective, and you can do it in your own backyard. So what we're going to show you is, um, let's start at the top left, that's obviously the rack card you look for if you come to Padre. Then we've got next to that the advanced toolkit, which enables you to do repeated shapes really fast, quickly and smoothly, and there's six of those. And then in the middle we've got the, the magical duster, and then the two best straws in the world from Whataburger. Two, two mechanical pencils, two spatulas, um, so that makes up the basic kit in the middle, the dusters, straws, pencils and spatulas. And then we have the sand shapers, which make the remarkable spheres you've seen. And then our new item, which is uh, an option on the full toolkit, but you can buy it separately too, is the large sand trowel, and we're going to show you all that today. So that's, that's our table of the full toolkit, they're all the tools we sell, and we know they work because, just watch the videos, you can see what they do. But we're going to pile some sand up, and, uh, and show you how to use all these fantastic tools. And welcome to Backyard Sandcastles, the first episode ever. So here's our bucket of water. Here's the inside of our bucket. And what you do is when you're filling the bucket for the first time, you make like a dish shape. It's hard to see in the, in the bucket but it's actually hollowed out in the middle like a dish. So you can pour the water into that and it won't blow the sides out of your bucket all the time. All right, so we're gonna put some water in and then we're gonna pop back. So there's the water, it's just gonna sit on top of the sand. We're gonna put a bit more in and then we're gonna chop the sand up with the shovel. And you can see how fast the water's draining. It's not bad at the moment. We've got a, we've got a bit of moisture in there, but we need a bit more. Now we're putting a bit more water in, another five gallons. Once you've got the once you've got the, the bucket sealed at the base, once you've got it wet, once you've chopped this up, and we're going to show you that now, um, you can then just tap all the way up when you're filling it, just to agitate the sand and cause that, those interstices. They're called interstitial bridges, and they're microscopic layers of water between each sand crystal, which causes them to become attractors. Like the old two pieces of glass and a bit of water you used to do at school when you Put the two pieces of glass together with no water, easy, take them apart. And when you put water in between them, you had to slide them off, you couldn't break them apart. Surface tension, all that stuff, all that good physics stuff. So now, I'm gonna go down here and chop this stuff. And one of the reasons we've got a big area here, so we can stand up. Because we want the base to be very, very, very strong. So you can see now how the sand is solidified around the edges. That last bit of water's being sucked up. Look, there it goes. Very, very easy. And that means the bottom of the bucket is solid. So we can put about another 10, 15 gallons of water in this, and then we're gonna add sand to water. That's most important. That way any bits of debris in the sand will come to the top, will float. And also it means we're getting a proper mix of sand and water. There goes your water. Boom. So as you can see, we've got our big block here, and what we're gonna show you is how important this large sand trowel is. We've got these in stock now. Uh, really well made, top company in the country makes these. Uh, we don't buy cheap stuff from China, we buy American, so that's what we do. Um, so we're gonna just carve this down and show you how fast you can get a shape of a basic castle. We're gonna do two or three spires in a flat castle so we can show you the advanced tools as well. Okay, so it's very, very quick. So here we go. people get nervous at this stage they what they do is they oh I can't I'm gonna to cut too much off I'm gonna ruin it no you're not gonna ruin it there's no ruining a sandcastle so you don't need to worry about ruining things just get on with it so we've got the top of our tower now so we're gonna carve it down here I want to release some of our tower so we can do that so go down from the roof space like this and we're gonna try and keep it as straight as we can we're gonna put a staircase in Okay, we're gonna move that tower down there. Because one of the things we will, we don't want our sandcastle to look like 
is the bucket that it came from, okay? It's very important to get rid of this bucket shape. So we're gonna do that like this. I'm gonna cut this in here. Okay, and we wanna cut this down a bit. It's very soft, you can see. The water is drained out of this very, very quickly. So, you know, taking a break, even though I missed it, um, I used the mister on it. It's still um, left, it's quite fragile. Okay, and then we're gonna do another pointy tower. So, I'm gonna do that here because we want that one to be next to this one. This one's gonna be a bit smaller, so, or a bit thinner, I should say. So, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of sand going everywhere. But we wanna release that shape. We do not want that block shape in our sandcastle. We're gonna do something at the back here as well. We're gonna make that like a hexagonal deal. And that's gonna be a crenellated tower. And usually square crenellated towers were made by the Normans and pointed towers were made by the Saxons. If you don't know who the Normans and Saxons are, look it up. I'm sure it's on YouTube. <laughs> so we're doing that. We're just getting this like another pencil again so we can do our towers, okay? Make this one slightly thinner. It's gonna come out like this. And don't worry too much about the fine work, just get the, the basic shape nutted out. And then the reason we offset the bucket, we push this bucket back a stage, is so we've got enough room to put a staircase in this way, okay? And then have the staircase going around this other tower. So we're gonna push that stairs there. We're gonna get that like that, okay? So this, is, this shows you the speed of the big trowel very, very, very fast. Okay, like that. So we're starting to lose our shape, our lose our bucket shape. Whenever you're using the big trowel, always look down it, down the blade here, because that way you can see whether you're getting it straight. Okay, none of this scooping towards yourself, that's no good. So like this. Like that. Okay, and also because we've got so much width here, we have the chance to do another staircase that goes the other way. So chop down the side of this staircase and then make it go the other way. And you can see how fast you can reduce this big block to something that looks completely different. Okay, we're gonna put a door over here. You won't be able to see that, but we'll show you on the way around. Okay, do that. So there you are, you've got your two towers. Just take that out of there very carefully. Don't push on anything, you cut, okay? like that so cutting you'll see little tiny bits of debris in it but nothing really okay so very happy with that and that's basically how you use the big trowel you can use the big trowel to rough out these shapes and get them quite quick quite smooth and do it that way okay so separating your tower making sure you get that one separated. And don't push on anything. You just cut and you pull out like that. So that's what the big, the big trowel does. Very important, very easy to reduce your, your big pile to a much smaller pile um, and get things popping in different styles of castles and towers and all sorts. Okay, so that's the first thing. We're gonna leave this little balcony on the back here. I'm gonna put that there because we want a bit of extra we're gonna make it uh, like a hexagonal crenellated tower here. So bring that out. Don't cut too much away from between them. You don't need to do that yet at the moment. What you need to do is just get that basic shape so you can see where you're going. So you've got the big tower, the smaller tower, the crenellated tower. We've got stairs, stairs, and stairs. 